Hmm. Well, I thought I would look on eBay and look for things that are about Connie Lake. So I already have it loaded here, and let's just take a look. Some postcards. Uh, Barbara J. Antique 1908 postcard. Yeah, it's wild to think that there are things that go back well, over a hundred years, postcard-wise. There's the steamer Pittsburgh. That's in around 1920. Uh, what have we got here? 1970s plastic mug. Rare. Well, what's on there? Oh, yeah, Lake Park. That is pretty rare. It's pretty old. Okay. Oh, this. This is interesting. I just heard about this the other day. This is from a... I don't know if that lots of people around here know it. There was a very big Ku Klux Klan rally in 1924 at the park. Back to here. And this is someone that spoke there and... This is a pin. There's pictures of the pin. There's an article. State Klan Rally starts tomorrow at Connie at Lake. Two day program. Yeah, this is long before I was born, but still it's kind of weird and gross to think that they had a giant Klan event, Klan event at the park, but they did. Yep. So anyway, there's that. The clan, here's a button. You know, it's probably pretty rare. Oh, $475 for this button. I'm sure only someone in the clan would pay for that. So, clan historians, you know, you know how they are. There's the Oakland Beach Hotel. That's interesting. That goes back pretty far, too. Okay, what's this? A vintage R.F. Snyder Pipe Company promo advertising sharpening stone. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. I don't remember that. That so might be before my time. Okay, what do we got here? There's, oh, an aerial view of Connie Lake Park. That's nice. Yeah, it goes back pretty far, I think. Cool. Now, I did hear that uh, the Hotel Connie used to be bigger at one point, and then there was a fire. But this is probably before I was born that that happened. So, I don't really remember that. Now, I do remember this. This is what the beach club at the park used to look like. Yep. That's just what it looked like. Hmm. Neat. And this I remember, too, from when I was pretty young. This was at Fairyland Forest. They had bears up in towers. And you could feed them by putting bear biscuits in a bucket and then they would pull a rope and pull it up and eat it. So, that's what that was about. Feeding the bears. And they're, they're behind a, you know, a big fence and there's, I guess they have to climb up there, I don't know. It seems kind of mean, but that's what they did. So. Okay, let me see what else. A metal first aid kit from Connie at Lake. A t-shirt for Ghost Lake. That's what it's known for now. Scary, ghosty stuff. There's a Connie at Lake scene postcard. Oh, this has stuff written on the back. That's pretty cool. Pretty primitive looking. Let's see what the back looks like. Dear Harold, I am sure having a nice time, had a nice 
buggy ride last night. Anne and somebody, Alice maybe. This went to Harold in Lincoln Place, PA. And it's got a one cent postage stamp and I can see the date, 1912. So, wow, over a hundred years. It's crazy. And you can buy that for only $4.95 plus $1.50 shipping. I don't get a commission. Okay, Fairyland Forest uh, Pennant. It's kind of cool. I don't know who collects pennants, but this certainly is one. Okay. Sunset at Connie Lake, boat landing. Ex oh, here's a good one. $1,250. A vintage bumper car. A vintage, dirty, dusty bumper car. Oh, a damaged, vintage, dirty, dusty bumper car. This is like, a, say that three times. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. Sorry, but it is. But for bumper car lovers, you know, you can't keep them away from an old dusty thing like this. Yeah, that doesn't look good. None of it looks good. But there you go. Okay. Connie Lake View from 1908. Oh, here's, you know, this is weird to me because they, I see these on here. I, I wonder how many of these actually exist because, or maybe it's the same one I keep seeing over and over, but this is an old glass paperweight souvenir that says souvenir of Conneaut Lake. It's nice. And it's, I'm sure it's old, but how many of these are there? That's only $14. It's actually a good deal. Does it say anything about it? Previously used. Yeah, not a lot of detail. Well, anyway. Next, what do we have here? Moonlight on Connie Lake, which is beautiful, by the way, if you've never seen it. Linen postcards, Conyot Indian Arrowhead. There's Iroquois Boating Fishing Club. A lot of postcards, mostly postcards. Oh, here's another bumper car. And this one is about the same price, about the same condition, which is not good. Yeah. Yeah. And that seat doesn't look good. Okay. Well, you know what to do if that's your what you want. Okay. Hmm. Kind of like postcard. What's this? Connie at Lake Park Vintage Brass Brass Tool Tag Number Thirteen. Lucky Number Thirteen. See, I kind of like this. I don't really want one, but it's interesting. So they must have put these tags on tools to keep track of them. I don't know. Tool tag does kind of suggest that. That's what they did with them. Oh, this looks nice. This is an old uh, cyanotype postcard. Postcard, a day's catch of walleye or catfish. Connie at Lake Pennsylvania. Wow. That's cool. And it says a day's catch at Connie at Lake and it shows two guys with a whole row of fish hanging from a stick. That's cool. And then here's a little closer view of it. And on the back, one cent stamp, so it's probably in the early 20th century then. Nice. Hmm. I actually do like looking at these old postcards. Oh, now here's something I remember too. This was Fairyland Forest, the Three Pigs House, and they actually had pigs in there. Like where this, uh, these bricks were, there were some little pigs living in there, and you could... I think you could feed them pig biscuits or something. I don't know. It was fun. 
And there's a Fairyland Forest vintage Stein. Yep, that's pretty nice. It's probably pretty old. Huh, cool. Oh, there's a caboose. The Bessemer and Lake Erie Caboose, Conneaut Railroad Museum, Conneaut, Ohio. That's not Conneaut Lake, that's Ohio. See, those do sneak in. Oh, here we go. Doo-wop weekend, year 2000. I remember this. It was pretty fun, except I didn't really like doo-wop music that much, and I never got used to the idea that Okay, sorry to say this, but see how they spell doo-wop? They actually managed to spell it differently in both parts. Like do should be D-O-O -O, and wop should be W-O-P, but yet they did it this way. And I think it's because they found it cute. So you don't always get your way, okay? Oh, here's another Fairyland Forest. The Lollipop Garden, I remember this. It was really nice. They had this tree with lollipops in it, and then they had all these nice flowers planted and benches, and it's pretty cool. The lollipop tree. Mm -hmm. There's a Conneaut Lake large postcard. There's the steamer Helena. Now, I don't remember. All of these steamships were gone by the time I was born, but... I remember my dad telling me that there was still some when he was a kid, I think. So he was born in 1934, so this would have been in the 30s, maybe, or early 40s. And he told me that he used to dive off of them into the lake, because they were, you know, like these are like pretty high. So they were kind of used as diving platforms, and it was fun. But steamboats on the lake, I've never actually seen myself. Okay, but I got ornaments. We got a mug. Oh, here's a Connie at Lake Pennsylvania QSL radio postcard, which I think is cool. Okay. J.S. Jamie Tolbert Jr., RD4, Box 756, Connie at Lake. So a QSL card is what people do like if you are an amateur radio person and you someone picks you up far away or you pick up their signal far away then you can get a postcard I, I think they still do this I'm not really sure but that you kind of let the person who sent the signal know that you picked up their radio signal and this is like a record of that this says the date here is 1992 and the UTC time, and the megahertz, and the mode, and the station name. That's cool. Okay. Postcard boat landing, Conneaut Lake Park. Let's look at this. I think there were traces of these things, maybe when I was a kid. It says boat landing looking toward Oakland Beach, Connie Lake. And then over here, this little thing on the opposite shore is the Oakland Beach Hotel. That I do remember when I was a kid. And I think it was probably still open to, at some point. Okay, here's the church. Our Lady Queen of America's church in Connie Lake. Still here to this day, still a church. Still Catholic. Okay, and there's, looks like the Barbara J. Anyway, lots of scenic postcards. There's another steamer, the Steamer Iroquois. Let's see if, what's going on with this one. 1924, that would have been the same year as the Klan rally. So, there you have that little fact. Mary, Something about Friday. So, Mary. May, no, it's not Mary. It's May start home about Friday. Feeling pretty good, John. And that went to J. 
into S.J. Mahoney, 415 Strathmore Lane, Pittsburgh, PA, in 1924. And there's a one cent stamp. It's cool. Okay. Oh, here's a picture. This is kind of interesting of the inlet of the lake, which most people don't know about or think about or care about. But uh, there it is. And there's someone in a little boat. And here we go. Miss Vanessa Platts in Medina County, Liverpool, Ohio. This is Alan Platts writing to Miss Vanessa Platts. Dear Vanessa, how are your, how are you something? I suppose you are having a good time with yours little something papa to something whatever blah blah dated September 29th of 1909 wow that's old huh well I do like this postcard a lot postcard probably cost a penny too at that time Okay, what's this? Is this the cafeteria? Connie at Lake Park, Pennsylvania, Lakefront Cafeteria Buffet. I used to go to this. My grandmother liked to go to this place. Yes, this was right next to the beach club. It was on the lake. It was a cafeteria. It was fun. Lakefront Cafeteria. Yep. Okay, some hotels, some people at the park. Hmm. Well, there's lots of stuff. There's hundreds and hundreds of things to look at on here. Now, this might be the ferry boat that I actually rode when I was a kid. The outing. Yeah, I think that was working when I was a kid. Miss Roxy Hostler in Altoona, PA from Jim and Edna. Huh. 1956, a little before I was born. That is cool. Okay, more postcard, picture postcards, picture postcards, postcards with pictures, some Connie at Ohio stuff trying to sneak in here. We're not going to put up with that. Oh my goodness. Here's a good one. This is the bowling alley. Stewart's Bowling Lanes Alley Old Postcard. I bowled here as a kid. The building is still there. I don't know if it's still a working bowling alley or not. But yep, there it is. Hmm, neat. Okay. Well, I can't look through all of these. There's another bowling alley postcard. Postcards, postcards. A lot of postcards. There's a gold medal from Connie at Lake. Mary had a little lamb. Okay. This building still exists in Espyville. And you can actually drive by and see it. It's Mary Had a Little Lamb's House. Okay. And these are the guys that used to be the captains of the Barbara J. Bert and Bill Hilton. They were the Hilton brothers. And there's the Barbara J. And they really look like boat captains, I think. Okay, well, postcards, postcards. Oh, I think this is a vintage postcard of the Dodgems. It is. Which is no more, but that's the Dodgems. Kind of cool looking.
Okay. Oh, the Jungle Cruise. There used to be a Jungle Cruise at the park. And <laughs> this elephant would spray water out into the into the thing. And there they were animal noises. They had some um, natives. It was fun. Okay. Oh, what's this? A vintage Connie Lake PA souvenir chalkware Scotty Dog Terrier figurine black. Huh. Well, I like this. Chalkware. Neat. Okay, I think I'm coming to the bottom of the page. I'm not going to do every single thing. There's a bathhouse souvenir glass tray. Kind of looks like it's reversed, though. Souvenir of bathhouse Connie Lake. Hmm, that's nice. There's another cafeteria shot. There's a wrestling tournament. What was that? 1970. High school wrestling with all of these places. And that's neat. Okay. Uh, Humpty Dumpty, they had a Humpty Dumpty at Fairyland Forest. You know, I've seen this thing on here for a while, and I guess no one's buying this vintage trash garbage can from the 1940s. I don't know why you wouldn't want to spend $158.39 plus shipping on this, but here it is. It's from the Hotel Conneaut. Okay. Well, anyway, that's been on here for a while. Miniature golf, golfing. Oh, here we go. Ski ball tickets. Yeah. You know, you can go right downtown in downtown Conneaut Lake to the Historical Society Museum and they have a working ski ball that you can actually play and that I did um, a couple weeks ago and it was fun and I recommend it. Postcards, postcards, bears in cages, postcards, lakes, water, fishing, Fairyland Forest, Okay, I think I'm done. Plus, these pictures didn't load very well. Okay, well, that was a lot of things, actually. And when I go back to the top, this is how many things. 762 results. So, there you have it. Oh, collectible advertisement matchbooks. Let's try that. Oh, my goodness, there's a Mama Bears. Okay, here's a Connie Lake one. That's from, I have to look, a friendly place where friends meet. But I can't read where it is. You are a stranger here but once. Oh, it's the Sportsman's Oasis. Yeah, this was on the, over close to the park, Sportsman's Oasis. Okay, there's that. Here's the famous, and I have some of these, Mama Bear's Matchbooks for $30.99. Wow, that's a lot for a matchbook. Love it, though. There's an amusement park. Oh, Bill's Radio. I remember Bill's Radio. 
back in the old days, us old timers would go down there to take our radio tubes down there to be tested. And he had a radio tube tester and he sold radios. And it was a long time ago. It was fun. Oh, look. He was actually involved in color TV at the time. Wow. Hmm. Connie Lake Park, Hotel Connie at Connie Lake Park, Hyde Sunoco Garage. Well, that goes back quite a ways. Pennsylvania's perfect playground. <coughs> what is this? Silver Shores. Still there. Oakland Beach Hotel. Yeah. I think I like a lot of these. I don't collect these, though, but... Oh, this is from the Hotel Elmwood that I do not remember. But there you have it. Free parking, free picnic groves, free attractions. Everything's free. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Connie at Lake Stuff on eBay. Check it out yourself if that's your thing. And it's fine if it's not. Okay. Thanks for watching.